Today we're arriving in Slovenia, which if you've been watching us for a while is quite a big moment. Seven months ago we left here cold and defeated in our old van, leaving a desire to explore this country after only getting a glimpse of the beauty during the journey back home. Now that's the reason why in this video there are no holes barred and we push to discover an extraordinary part of Slovenia that we believe not even many locals know about, but maybe that's for a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> While Slovenia may be a small country, it never failed to amaze us with its breathtaking and outstanding natural beauty. Could it have won us over too much? There we go, new project. Should we change the channel? <laughs> and this is where our trip starts, scraping it over the Italian-Slovenian border with only five kilometers range left in our tank. Also, we can take advantage of the cheap fuel prices Slovenia offers. And people wonder how we keep our budget so low and skimping out like this is a good example of how. <laughs> First exploration mission. <laughs> You're cringe. Right, so this place, I don't know a lot about, I don't. I never know a lot about places that we go and explore, but this is meant to be some sort of cave that is sort of free, it's sort of not free. I think the more you pay, the more you get. So we're just gonna see how much we can see without paying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and obviously that won't come as a shock to you that we try to do everything for free. And that's another reason why the budget stays so low. <laughs> So as far as my knowledge goes, this is just a massive cave that's got a river running through it. Look how clear that water is! Wow! That you can get boat tours through, which I wish I wish we could... <laughs> what? what? <laughs> wish I... Which? Which I wish we could do. Oh, I want to get in that water. That is insane. But it was like 60 euros per person, which is a bit of a stretch for us, by any means. Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is as far as you I was looking at the torch then trying to talk to the camera <laughs> so this is as far as you can get for free there's a gate stopping you going anywhere further down the cave but this is mad it's massive I can imagine it goes for miles it's really it's really creeping me out we just it's got sick. the one torch you can only just see the light from the entrance this is really bad recording I'm very sorry but as you can expect, it's very dark in here. Oh, it's really weird. I don't like it. Where to next, boss? Um, I'm trying to see how far away it is. I'm sad that that was a short visit, but also we'd have to wait for three hours to even pay for a, a guided tour to get further down the cave. So we're not waiting around for that. Oh, it's only 10 minutes away, our next place. And I'm hoping we're going to be able to explore a lot more here because this looks sick. I can't wait. We seem to be getting led a really sketchy way right now on this like horrible gravel road that's just putting me on edge <laughs> because it's single track and we're a big van to move. I've never been so nervous with us driving around them when we've now got this new van. Gonna be honest, don't know how I feel about leaving the van here, but this is all we're working with. I just happened to stumble across it on Google Maps, so. Hopefully we're okay. I don't really know much about anything, to be honest. All I know is that I'm worried about the van. Oh, and we need head torches again. Oh man, what have you signed us up for? This is gonna be mint. I know, I know that I'm gonna love this. Right, come on. Oh man, this is dodgy, I love it. And she wonders why she's got bad knees. <laughs> oh my god, this is this, this is it. Yeah. I can Mitch, it's freezing. I is can it? feel it. It's a good job you brought that then. Oh man. Oh, why'd you talk me into things like this? This is gonna be sick. Wow, it's so cold. <gasps> Oh, so that's the only entrance. The thing I don't understand with something like this is the graffiti thing. Like, who's being like, oh yeah, I know what will be really fun. Yeah, Let's come just down come... And graffiti. Yeah, it's hey, terrifying. Should we, should we sleep in here tonight? No, and... Shake my hand. <laughs> Why? Shake my hand. Why? Promise. Promise what? No funny business. I can't promise that. No scaring. <laughs> come on. Shake my hand. I can't promise that. <laughs> Mitchell. 
Come on, let's go. Can you read what that says? Hell. Hell is above where we're about to go in. Oh, jeez. Right, in we go. Oh man, it's wet on the floor. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Right, so for those wondering what the hell this is, this is apparently a World War II bunker. I'm not 100% sure. I think we'll do a little voiceover and give you the exact information now. So what we're walking into now is a series of tunnels built by the Italians as a defence system against Yugoslavia in the 1930s. It's unique in the way that it's carved into the side of a collapsed valley. There really isn't a lot of information online about this bunker, but from what I can find, at one point the tunnels intertwined through the valley for 15 kilometres, but they were later filled with water and cemented. Although you can still explore around 1.5 kilometres of this huge hidden bunker in the middle of the forest. This is terrifying. This is really scary. Oh, this is something out of a film. Which way do we go? <gasps> oh my God, it goes for miles. Uh, oh, the sign's an exit, that's helpful. Yeah, so uh, we- Wait, is that an arrow? The orange? What does that mean? Yeah, we'll go that way. This way? I think so. Oh no, that, that arrow's pointing that way. Oh. <laughs> or does that mean exit? Maybe. Come on, let's just go one this way. way. Yeah. Right, okay, right is always right. Holy shit. Oh, man. It goes down. No, that's just like a little, yeah, that's like a little pit. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, it's silent. Wow, the heat that you feel yeah. instantly. <gasps> oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. Wow. There's another, just... hey, there's another entrance over there by the looks of it. I wonder if it goes all the way over there then. Imagine if we can get round there and then we can see this cliff face. Do we go up? Yeah, I mean, you can see the light. Oh man, this is so cool. I think I'd prefer to be at the front. Do you think? Because I'm scared that someone's going to grab me from behind. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. This is one of them rare things while you're traveling that you do not find very often. Oh, that's what rare means. <laughs> but something that's completely untouched apart from the graffiti that's obviously covered in history even though we don't know a lot of it you don't find stuff like this very often this look, like yeah little, little shooting holes yeah. oh man this is so sick how i found this on the map i'll never know but i'm so glad i did all right back down we go steady feet going down here oh god if we had an accident down here it would be very difficult to explain to someone where we were. <laughs> <laughs> the next set of steps up that we found are extremely long and extremely wet. Oh, this is very sketchy. Oh shit, I lost my foot in there. Oh, Mitch, this is really sketchy now. Why? I don't know. It just looks sketchy. I can't see. Oh my god, it goes so far. Shit, let's have a look in that room. Careful. You can tell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you're an idiot. You scared the shit out of me, Mark. <sighs> Oh my god! <laughs> Marth, my heart went so hard. Oh, I'm scared. Marth, do not do that again. I'm sorry, but I'm scared. <gasps> oh, I don't want to leave now. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> I was just about to say, you can tell how far this thing's going because, listen to the echo.
goes for miles. God, Marv, honestly. That was, that is one of the most my heart's ever gone recently. Um, that... Oh my God, it just goes down again. Oh, Mitch, I'm not enjoying this now. You just said to me you were doing okay. Wow, yeah, what's that for? They must have been able to pass things from room to room through that. What, are we going this way? Well, it can go either way. We just need to remember which ways we've turned. There's that hooks on there. That's where they hang, hang up their jackets. Yeah. God, this is creepy. How are you going to remember stuff? Well, left and then right down the stairs. That's all we need to remember. Wow! Slop, slop, oh. oh, it's just like the rooms. And then that hooks. Wow. Could you imagine being in here when it was actually being used? I think I'd be less scared. Yeah, I'd be less scared, but... <laughs> yeah, all these hooks, I reckon what they were for of is for um, electrical cables, so that they had lanterns and stuff inside here. Oh gosh. It's the echo, isn't it? Yeah. It's going for miles. Some more yeah, I know, you fucking give it to me then as well. <laughs> We've seen some light at the end of this tunnel. Honestly, I cannot believe how long this thing is. This is these are the best tunnels I've ever been in my life. Yeah. And we've been to Ho Chi Minh. Not Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. Yeah, Ho Chi Minh, where all the tunnels are there from the, the Choo Choo Tunnels. Yeah, the Choo Choo Tunnels. Right, should we have a breather? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at this. That is just the entrance to one end of the tunnels in the, literally the middle of the forest. Yeah, you wouldn't notice that, would you, at all? Oh, Mum, I, I need to let my heart calm down for a minute. <laughs> I'm You're sorry. still up from you. I'm sorry, I got really scared. <laughs> <laughs> is that a poo? Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. <laughs> oh no, it's a pine cone. It's a pine cone. <laughs> false alarm, false alarm. Oh, our torch isn't on. Wow, that shows how dark it is. Keep walking forward, Mom. Wow. Oh, it's showing how far down it is. I thought that said Marv. <laughs> it does say Marv. Turn your torch off it. That says Marv. It's for you. This is, I'm getting creeped out now. Are you sure you want to carry on? Yeah, it goes for ages. What would you do if you turned one of these corners and there was just like a body there or something? That's what I'm expecting. But I was thinking I'd probably smell it before. I don't know. It's, so, it's, it's so cold down here. I don't know how much longer this is going to go on for because I can tell by the tone of Martha's voice that she's stopping to enjoy this, <laughs> starting to not enjoy this. What the fuck was ladders? Stop swearing. Sorry. Oh, oh my god. What the hell? You're gonna wanna go up that, aren't you? I don't recommend. He's going up. Oh, please be careful. I was making sure the ladder feels safe. Oh, there's water dripping on my hair. No. I don't know if you can tell how high that is. Jeez. What is this place? Hmm. What? Oh no, my torch is dying. <laughs> These wrongs are just getting a little more corroded as I get higher up. Well, don't do it if it's not safe. No. Please. Please, please, please be careful. Okay, it's not worth going on for. No. No, it just goes up to another one of the things that we were just at. 
Just faintly, we're finding old signs underneath there. I don't know what that says, cent Centro? Yeah, it looks like it says Centro. The arrow. Oh yeah, Re Reserve. Oh, I don't know. Jesus. I would also love it if there was anyone in the comments who knows any more about this place who can tell me more information about it that Google wouldn't otherwise tell me because it's so interesting. Even all the concrete on the walls has been reinforced with metal wirings. Which I can imagine, if it was to do with World War II, is so that if there was any bombs, it doesn't collapse on everyone. Because I don't think that would be very fun. Please, can we go now? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting really creeped out now. It's losing its adrenaline feeling and now it's just like, my brain's starting to go to different places now and I'm hearing things and oh, everything's making me on edge. Right, we'll start making our way out. Normally, I'm not up for things like this. Stuff like this really creeps me out. But surprisingly, it's been pretty good, although now I am starting to get freaked out. This is what happens when you watch too many shows and films. This is what it all is, Mitch. Like all these ideas that I've got are all yeah, from uh -huh. films. It's quite bad, actually. Oh, now where do we go? Oh, shit. Yeah. We didn't go upstairs. Yeah, we didn't go upstairs straight on. See, this is the thing. Now my mind's racing to like, films have been chased and I don't know. Oh, oh, bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, this is why I want to leave. Because Mitch gets comfortable and I get uncomfortable. <laughs> we found the way out. It's here from where we came from. But Mitch, being Mitch, he's gone down there. What, what's down there? It's um, news Yeah. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> Echo down. <laughs> What's down there? Just come, just come, because it's interesting. There's a load of signs on the wall that say attention and warning. So I don't really want to, I'm a bit devious to oh, go. I don't fancy going down there. No, but this, we're actually on a concrete floor. I don't know if you've been able to tell, but then it just turns to a dirt path and a very exposed cave. Yeah, this is all done quite nicely. Whereas I don't know. What's going on down there? I'm sure it's completely safe, but I don't want to take that chance. Let's, let's listen to the warning signs. See, what does that say? Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> Smile, you will die. Okay. This is a nice place, isn't it? We're coming out. Oh man, I did not. What was that? I don't know. Oh, there's someone there. There's someone up there. What sort of noise was it? There's someone. Oh. Oh my God, I'm on edge. Oh, it's just an old bloke. <gasps> I think. It's... Anyway. I have to press it on the side. I'll take it off, sure. Right, shall we get back to the van before yeah. we talk about this? Because this is, we need time to process. process. I'm just going through some photos of the place in case there's anything that we've missed because if anyone knows me, I don't like missing out on anything. So, but I can't see anything on, on the photos of any more that we could have seen. So I'm just, that was, Unbelievable experience, that was awesome. Well, let's see how many more things that we can find whilst we're in Slovenia. We're off to a great star. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to the last place of the day. Yeah. Yeah. I love Slovenia already. This place is amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
What am I getting? I don't know what I was getting in the van then. Oh yeah, I wanted to research what this actually is so we don't just stick a camera at the building. Right, do you want to know the facts? Please. So, this is the remains of a renaissance manor which was burnt down and destroyed by the Yugoslav partisan forces during the Second World War. Oh wow. Was that a good, was that? That was great. Yeah. It was like Attenborough. Thank you. The ruins are unstable and unsafe to explore, but you can still walk around and admire the details and surrounding nature. That's Shall we do the video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that we've had a very successful first day here in Slovenia. I, I'm blown away by this country already and I'm just so glad that we've come back and we're back. It's only 20 to 5. We've just seen so many cool things. We've just made it to our first park up for the night in Slovenia and as always I'm impressed again. This country already, amazing. It is illegal or forbidden to do any wild camping here in Slovenia again, just like it has been in Italy and basically everywhere we've been so far. So that might become an issue when we go into more of the popular spots, but this place where we are right now is completely free. And I am just, this is a van lifer's heaven. Let me show you. So this place here has got free bins, free water. Oh where you can clean, clean your toilet, and then there's water a euro, drinking water, all here, and there's just a space. And then there's also an electrical hookup points, which I think they've said that they were charging 50 cents per um, certain amount. Kilowatt. Kilowatt. Yeah. 50 cents per kilowatt. But this is all free and it's pretty quiet too. This is absolutely ideal. This pretty is the quiet. There's a bloody party going Apart on. Apart from there. the party, I mean in terms of campers. You guys know what I meant. But this is one of the only places I found on Park for Night where you scroll down on the comments and it's just got five star after five star after five star review. They've got security cameras over the uh, washing bit which I thought was strange. Oh yeah. I wonder what people are dumping for them to need to do that. Well. What about that guy in Italy? Well, yeah, there's a guy in Italy. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Dumping his lawnmower oil down the, the drainage. Very naughty. Seven Trent Water wouldn't like that, would they? <laughs> the night is getting away with us now, though. Um, so we're going to make some food and settle in for the night. <laughs> What's up? You don't want to settle in, do you? No, I'm, I, I hope that not being able to park here doesn't soil this place because I'm loving it so far. Let's just focus on the now. And right now it's very good. Yeah. Like this place is going to be few and far between, isn't it? Yeah. But we'll make the most of it. We've just been following the river as we've been driving and this was one of the little stops that we'd seen as we'd gone and it's a it's a bridge where people usually would jump off you're standing up there aren't you oh you're gonna give me a heart attack it is quite high it's the fact that they've made this little diving board it looks so sketchy this place is one of them places that would be really cool if you were like just in your teens and like didn't have a care in the world and just came with your mates. I know, I don't like to buckle under pressure. So like part of me wants to do it, but also I've got a bad neck as well. <laughs> Absolutely not. And also the weather is dropped significantly today. It's not, it's still 23 degrees. That feels cold though. There's no sun. So we're mainly just having a look. Don't think we're gonna get in, but you never know. We've got a few places that we wanna stop along this river. As if you know anything about Slovenia, you know that it's very famous for the, the river here. There's mainly more than the, one river. Yeah, mainly the Soccer River. Well, yeah, there's a lot of nice ones. But there. there's a lot of places along in Slovenia that look insane that I'm very excited to check out. We just found this parking just on a fluke as we were going close to it. It's not on the map or anything, and it's not even on Park Fnai, but it looks like 
we could stay here. I'm not 100% sure. It's not, like I said, it's not in part for night, so you have to take that with how you feel about the area, I'd say. But I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing in this situation. But I really wanted to have a little picnic at this next beach. So that's what we're gonna do. Although we've got some leftover fried rice that I'm gonna cook up instead. So it's not exactly a picnic, but I still think it would be nice to take that down to the water and eat it there. You also just tend to forget that in places like this in Europe, how seriously they take their Sundays. It's honestly been so quiet driving and this is pretty much empty. And we've gone through a few towns as we've just been driving up and they're just so quiet and things are closed or if you do see anyone they're just sat in cafes it's really nice i think that's how sundays should be since we've spontaneously decided to stay here for the night we don't really know what to do with ourselves now as the few things that we had on our list are further up and we want to stay here so we're just going to have a wander into Tolmin, which is the town that we're next to. Nothing's really open because it's a Sunday. However, cafes and bakeries are. So we're going to go have a little mooch, see if there's anything that we, uh, we want to get. Do you miss it? I might get a job here, you know. I like Slovenia a lot. <laughs> We've just stumbled across a sewage treatment works. And that's what Mitch used to do as his old job. Love it. God, the language barrier is hard at times. <laughs> you ordered? Yeah, I think so. He said that he would never have ordered the one that we said, <laughs> like brought the one that we said. So it was a good job went and showed him. Oh man. So we found ourselves at this cute little cafe in the middle of the town and this whole walk here to, to this place, Mitch has been talking about how this needs to go on our list of places to come live. It just seems to have everything that we need. And I think it's because it's a Sunday as well. It's nice because it's quiet. But we've come here, we don't really know the price, but we're gonna just have cake and coffee. We're going to the estate agents tomorrow. <laughs> to have a look around. <laughs> and we got big coffee. That sealed the deal now. Should I do a typical Marv reaction? Mmm. <laughs> no, that is actually nice. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole <laughs> That's really good, that's really peanut butty. You look like um, someone at an Oktoberfest, like who works behind an Oktoberfest bar. Because of my plaits? Yeah. 891 square metres of land as well. Right, we're moving here. Okay, so I've just found, I just, quick Google, four bed detached house here, 109,000 euros. <gasps> I'm signing up. That's insane, and you're just in the middle, obviously, in the middle of just the forest and in... Oh my God. The house is furnished what? as well. We're moving in tomorrow. Well, we haven't got that sort of money, but... <laughs> if we did. Yeah. Look at that. What? What? No way. There we go, new project. Should we change the channel? <laughs> From where we were just sat, we saw this big sports centre opposite. And we've just had a stroll in and had a quick Google and this is all free to use. And it's open from 6am till 10pm at night. And there's like, everything, there's kids playing basketball, there's running tracks, shot put, long jump, high jump, I don't know, all of it. Just this massive athletic centre. There's no one around using it. I would have loved this near my house when I was younger. And the fact that it's free, I would have been here all the time. Oh, and the little pump track, the little kids on it. How are you allowed to be in here? It seems... It does seem wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. So today has felt very Sunday-ish. And because of that, it's made me really crave a Sunday dinner. And that's not very popular over here in Slovenia. So I'm trying... <laughs> I'm trying very badly to make my own. I've got some leftover homemade nut roast that my mum made before we left. And I've got instant mash, which I've never had before and I'm 
I'm dreading it. We've got some stuffing from home, some gravy from home, and then some frozen Brussels sprouts and veg. So it's gonna be a very, very poor effort of a roast dinner. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, I think. I mean, it's not bad considering you've only got two hobs to do it on. No, I'd say that wasn't so bad after all. It actually wasn't that bad. Do you know what the weird thing is? What? The nut roast was my favourite thing out of it. There we go. So all in all, I'd say that was a big success. And I feel like I've had a roast dinner, especially because we made so much. I'm so stuffed. <laughs> But it's all good because we'll put it to good use tomorrow as we've got something really exciting planned, which means we need to get an early night. So we'll catch you in the morning. It's been an early start this morning, but we've made it to where we need to be today. We have planned to go kayaking down the Soccer River and we've just arrived. We're doing it with Aquator's Bovec. I'll leave all their information down below. But yeah, we just got here. We just had a little briefing about what we need to do and we just need swimwear and a towel and then everything else is sorted out for us and we'll head out. It's still pretty early, Mitch is half asleep. But I'm excited, it's very quiet. So I think we're gonna have a great time. Are you ready to kayak on your own without me depending on you? That'll actually be so good. I'm actually really nervous because I've never really kayaked on my own and last time I did it wasn't very good. So I don't know how this is going to go. And you need helmets this time, so again, I'm not sure how it's going to go. But we'll see. We'll see, it's an experience. As you can see, the water on the Soccer River is absolutely stunning. So being able to kayak down this was such a privilege. The tour down the river consisted of our group of six, including Flo, the tour guide. We learned some basic kayaking skills, including some ways to show that we're now professional kayakers. Yeah, good. Oh. Yeah, perfect, bravo. While still having plenty of time to sit back and take in the surrounding beauty. Even though most of the footage is of Mitch's feet, I managed to enforce some karma for that when we learned to use the kayak as a sootboard. This is not going to end well for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All in all, this was a really rewarding experience, learning a new skill and in such an amazing place. And I actually managed to get the hang of it in the end. To combat the difficulty of parking in the Triglavski National Park and to avoid a hefty fine, we decided to take a drive over the border to Italy to spend the night there with some questionable weather on the way. Thanks so much for watching guys. We really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to give us a like and drop us a subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. We'll catch you in the next one.